All right, it is Friday, October 1st. It's a new quarter. Market is currently 4308 plus 10 and change um, up slightly. Pre market volume is 460,000 over an average of 291. So definitely elevated volume today with a fairly large overnight range of 60.25 points. Looking at the VIX. Uh, VIX is 22.66, down slightly, just about 2%, but still very elevated. And um, taking a look at the market, generally speaking, we had the inside day on, thir on Wednesday, then yesterday, Thursday, broke the bottom and flushed down to uh, June's high level, which was the the prior um, low from September 20th and bound, didn't didn't clear it, but um, got pretty close. Let's see, let's run a three bar down count. Um, I mean, the weekly is has is inside still. And so if we break that low that I mentioned from 920th, we'll uh, we'll be we'll break the bottom. The June high is 42.93.75, um, and we'll have an inside month down, which would be not well. It's currently inside. It would just be down on the weekly and on the monthly. Okay, this is the outside month closing down, and um, let me see. If we go back and look at the retracement here on the weekly at down the 272 is what they call it would take us down to um, September I mean July 19th and that low is 4224 I want to just show real quick take a look at that so here we were yesterday this is um last week's low and it bounced broke it and bounced up so that 42 level would be down in this area 4224 where there is some volume i don't know if the the these areas are enough volume or enough uh, transactional data to actually keep the market afloat here. It would be more likely, in my opinion, that if we do begin breaking this lower area of, of yesterday's low, the weekly low and so forth, that we will probably come down into the higher volume areas. So. Here's the overnight low, 4260 overnight high. The last thing we'll do is take a look at what that looked like in the overnight. This was yesterday, basically trend down all day. Quick bounce back up to the 24 hour VWAP and rejection overnight. Continued to sell off hit the overnight low at 42.60 and change, which is um, just just above a, a, a little bit of a volume node and has since found buyers back up to yesterday's low, which is here, and has set an overnight high of 43.20. which is back into yesterday's range, kind of just below that. Well, it, it's about 20 points below the swing high from that quick bounce off the bottom. So if we can't break this overnight high, kind of go retest this swing high area at um, Thursday's value area high at uh, 43, 41.75, then we may come up, hit the overnight high, bounce, bounce, and chop, and then come down to test these lower levels. 
Now, it is the beginning of the month and new money comes in, so I'm not expecting a, a big sell-off. But with the elevated volume and the elevated overnight market range, that suggests we're going to have some movement today. So we'll wait and see how it plays out. And real quick, let me see if um, there's any kind of ATR break setting up for me. Yeah, I mean, very, it's volatile. It's just incredibly volatile. So I will look to see if we test the overnight high or somewhere close to it in this swing area from the overnight around 17, 18. And um, if we reject, we may come back down or we may go test the overnight VWAP, you know, fail up here, come down, test overnight VWAP, bounce, and then consider if we go take out last week's low, or last, sorry, last week's low, and then come down to uh, test the overnight low, which is well below that. So a lot remains to be seen how this market plays out. And um, just take it one step at a time. All right, market just took out the overnight high. So my expectation is we go down and um, test VWAP. So I just got short at the ATR break here. Well, it didn't break. This is what I was talking about. Mm. I may just let this thing stop, stop me out because uh, <clears throat> the ATR failed and that is very risky or I get out of it, but let me see. Where does my stop need to be? At least back up to mid. Oh, I got stopped, okay. No problem, I got stopped on that trade. Probably gonna re-enter it here in just a second though. That is a problem with these ATRs. You gotta give them a minute to, to actually fill and break. All right, now it's breaking. All right, I'm short. Got back in that trade. Entry is 43.12.50. First target, I'm just using four points, which is sort of a random target. I don't have very much to go by on it, but uh, I am going to trail the stop to see if it'll run. We've got a little bit of uh, some potential support down here at 4305. All right, I got the first contract, first, first uh, portion of the contract. So I auto adjusted the stop um, because of the volatility. I don't want to stay too involved. And we have support right where this thing is stopping 4305. So. Two fifty is yesterday's point of control, volume point of control. So I don't know. We'll see how it runs. This is um, this is super volatile. Let me see if I can more effectively trail the stop. Top of this bar is eight twenty five, so that would put the stop at eight fifty. I'm just going to trail it aggressively. This could reverse and fly. All right, so I'm out on that. See what happens next. Um, up, up 140 right now. And that's due to poor trade, trade management on the first ATR break. I shouldn't have taken it or I should have moved the stop. So we'll see how this plays out now. So the market broke the ATR, just completely sold off. I missed the first red line trade because I'm sitting here scaring, staring at the screens with the volatility, too nervous to take a trade. So uh, we're coming back down into the 24-hour uh, VWAP, which is my expectation. So this has happened before, early market, high VIX, high volume and volatility. We take out the overnight high early, first minute that's a fade back to the 24-hour VWAP and using the ATR and my red line I could have trailed the stop all the way down so note to self when you have the high VIX high volume trail your stops more effectively in other words let a runner run because uh, it'll make you a lot more money in the long run 
Okay, B period is about to open. I'm gonna give it a uh, minute here to see how it opens, what develops. Target is going to be a break of A's low. Um, my expectation is that we could retrace back up to the mid, back up to, or not. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. Look at that move. So volatile. Maybe one of these days where it's too volatile for me to trade, we'll see. So I'm going to give this just, well, I'm going to give it a minute. Wow, they are moving this market. Range on this bar is already seven something points. I mean, my entry around the red line would be okay, but we don't, we don't even have a minute of data yet to analyze how B is going to play out. So anyway, I, you know, this, well, it can do this, it can go back up to the mid area. So, um, I'm just going to watch this for a minute and, um, see how it develops. Okay. So B drove up to the mid is now coming back down below the mid of B in the open right here. So, what, I, what I'd like to do is try to get it as it settles in this area. Now I know where my stop is and my target is below. So give this just a minute longer and um, I'll be looking to enter here in just a, just a minute. Look at the move. Wow. This is tough. This is kind of crazy price action. You know, the other idea is I could enter in parts, enter a part here, part here, part here, or just get into it. Look at this thing go. All right, I'm in. Entry is 42. 42, 97.25. Going for a breakdown here, or at least a test of it. Uh, 93.25 is my target initially. Time was 10.05. I'm going to initially put the stop at 02. And um, give this a minute to play out. I entered about 10.05. Yeah, it's too volatile. Probably going to get stopped. Yep. All right, I'm stopped. All right, stopped on that trade. I've got to give it a little more time, maybe a little more room, and maybe wait till about 10.13, 10.15, or just not trade today. It is, it is incredibly volatile. So I'm going to pause it here and pick it back up. All right, we've got the second 15-minute bar coming in. This is when I should have entered. Look at that drive down. So let's see if I can get involved here. I mean, it's just, it's too fast. It's just too fast. Can't even get involved. Look at that, I missed the whole trade. What a pisser. All right, not sure. If, I don't know, we'll see how the next, next phase of the market goes. All right, so the initial balance is set and um, C period is opening now. And we're going to see how this plays out. Be looking for a break of the IB low, but I'm got an order placed up at the ATR to look for a type of deflection trade. I'm I'm not real interested in entering here cuz I could get easily stopped out with the ranges today and I've basically missed all the red line trades. I'm just not comfortable taking them right now, so I'm going to see if this thing moves back up to basically where A's high is. And um, I mean, A is low, pardon me, and see if I can't get a trade right in this area and probably put my stop near the mid area. So we'll see how this plays out. Otherwise, I'm going to be forced to take a riskier trade selling near the bottom for a break of the low, which I just hope I don't have to do that. All right, we're back. It is 1043. Um, chop is pretty impressive waiting to see what the 15 minute range does next next uh well the 
the next 15 minutes basically. Um, I may set a preset order to enter if we break below kind of this this area here. Well, we're breaking now. So I don't like to enter before 1045, but um, I, I do believe we are gonna head down. Trend is down. We broke some ATR stops. Um, but there, this is this area is getting defended, so I could get stopped. All right, so here we go, second 15-minute bar. Let me set it right in this 80 range. See if we get a good breakdown. So I'm going to let myself get stopped in. See if we get a push down. I'm going to set the entry at 80 and see what happens. So I'll give it just a minute here. Getting below the red line, it's a good sign. All right, so I'm in at 80. Gonna put the stop up at around 85 for now. That'll at least make, give me a, a little bit of a chance to make some money on the trade. Um, definitely going to, for a break of the low down here. Yeah, 85. 84 should be my stop, really. And the question is whether I'm going to trail this stop or let it play out. Seventy-two, seventy-five, fifty. Uh, we just took out the opening range low. Did not get any follow through. That is a bad sign. That is a very bad sign. It broke it by one tick. And a lot of times when that happens, it just reverts in your face and, and explodes. So I think I'll get aggressive with the stop now. So I can't get buried. And I'm going to get stopped out. 80, 80 is my stop. Let's see what happens. Or just close it. Look at that. Look at the hesitancy. Come on, sellers. Push. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Get it on down there. Come on. Get it on down. Come on. How long have I been in this trade? Two minutes. Let's go. Getting volume down here. Not much of a taper. Oh, there we go. And so it goes. So that was the end of it for me. A uh, very frustrating day. I ended up down on day $977. Not that bad, but that is basically my max loss for the day. Something around $1,000 is my max. I want, to be, I want to be able to make up whatever my loss is in about two days. So that's it for me. Thanks for watching. If you like this, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up and I'll print some more content for us. Thank you.